The last time Lexus came out with a model with a three-letter designation, it was with a legendary LFA. But now it's come back with this one. It's the Lexus Breakthrough Crossover or the LBX. We're here in Valencia, Spain to find out what makes this a breakthrough crossover. The LBX is all about breaking boundaries, and in this case, it's designed to be their entry-level or gateway model. In that regard, it's still based off the GAB platform that's shared with models like GR Yaris and the Yaris Cross. But what makes this different is that things like the wheelbase has been lengthened, the tracks have been widened, and even the overhang shortened to give it a more planted and stable character. What's amazing about the LBX is it's designed to have a small engine from the get-go. In this case, it's a 1.5 liter with a hybrid engine, a 1.5 three-cylinder. This makes about 136 PS, 0 to 100 in 9.2 seconds, which is impressive given the size and output of the engine. What makes this different is that the battery technology is more advanced than what Lexus would have come out with in the past. That would mean using a nickel metal hydride bipolar battery, which has a higher power density, hence being able to rely on its electric power more than ever before. Driving through a 160 kilometer route composed of Valencia's tight city streets and some winding coastal roads, the LBX is more than the sum of its parts. There's always an ample amount of power giving you the confidence to merge onto expressways or overtake the occasional slow moving traffic. Even more impressive is how the LBX manages to combine the best attributes of a sedan and a crossover. The visibility is extremely good as what you'd expect from something with more than 220 mm of ground clearance, but thanks to seating with a low hip point, it feels nimble and communicative. The LBX gets a nifty design cues found in other models like the RZ and RX. For example, the frameless grille design that you have here in front, and even the L-shaped LED indicators that's been turned upside down so that now the signal would indicate the direction of travel. Towards the side, most variants will get an 18-inch alloy wheel design. In this case, that would be the high gloss pattern, but you can also get it in a sportier dark finish. Two-tone roofing would be an option depending on the atmospheres that you're going to be selecting with the LBX. Towards the back, LBX would get this nice full-length LED taillights which gives it a more planted stance and as a bit of a trivia, it's actually wider at the bottom than it is at the top and that's supposed to be down to some Japanese art of dumplings or mochi stacking. The LBX is designed with the driver in mind. In that regard, it gets the Lexus signature driving. Now, you would be wondering what makes the interior that different. Well, first of all, because of the atmospheres rather than variant lineup, the interior color combination and materials would be more varied than what Lexus would have produced in the past. This one, for example, uses suede and leather. For the driver, he gets Lexus's first all-digital gauge cluster, and that's called the Tazuna Cockpit Concept. Right here in the center, a 9.8 screen, Touchscreen, of course, with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, dual zone climate control, and if you're using the latest gadgets like an iPhone 15 or what have you, standard USB ports at the front and the back, and wireless charging as well. Most impressive about the LBX is that it's designed to keep the driver's head in a stable pattern so that when you're driving, you don't feel car sick. It's all about thinking about the driver and making sure that the driver drives this LBX as intended. The LBX may be designed for Europeans first and foremost, but get this, it's a true global model. It's actually arriving in the Philippines sometime soon. Now the exact timing and pricing would be revealed much later, but in this first drive we have in Valencia, it's proven to be an exciting and worthwhile wait.